Bob Harris made a name for himself locally playing Negro League Baseball from 1948 to 1965. In 1980, he did something very few African Americans from Bedford had done before him. He went into business for himself. Harris Printing is now celebrating 35 years of service. In this week's Bob Greeby's Virginia, we meet the man behind the successful business. For nearly 35 years, this sound has been familiar to Bob Harris. That's the sound of business. Only one in Bedford can do that. Printing for customers in the Bedford area and beyond. At the age of 84, Mr. Harris is still busy working the machine, a career that began at age 18. By now I got ink on work. <laughs> but I just like this kind of work. After years of working as a pressman for local newspapers, Mr. Harris branched out in 1980 to start a printing business in the basement of his home, eventually expanding to the point where he needed his own office for Harris Printing, with workspace downstairs. Watch a low spot right here. He started with a single press, then added another and another. As long as you give him a good price and treat him right, that's the main, that's the main thing in a business. The machines outdate his business. How long has this machine been around? It's probably 50 years old. Is that right? Yes. yes. Oh my goodness. It still works great, right? Yeah, it works great. But he has everything he needs to get the job done on time. If a spring pops off or something needs to be repaired, Mr. Harris can fix it himself. They stopped making this press in 1985. So you can imagine how old it is. But we still get parts for it. Not all the items in the workshop yeah. are readily available on the market. So that's typeset? Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. yeah. And you're still doing that by hand? Yeah, and I still put, put it together. The printer he uses to customize napkins and paper bags? It's from the 1880s. I don't think anybody else ha has anything like this. When he started Harris Printing, not many African Americans owned their own business in Bedford. I had to prove what I could do. He's been an inspiration to his family and many others in the community. And that's the only way you can achieve anything is to work for it, you know, and he set a good example for that. He really did. His daughter Carol helps with the bookkeeping a few days a week. Three generations of the family have worked for the business. You see a different side of your parents when you work side by side with them other than this being your dad. And uh, we joke a lot here and, and uh, he has helped me to learn a lot about the business, and I really have appreciated the, the years I've been able to work with him. Mr. Harris will be 85 in June and celebrate 35 years in business. Everything co computer now, so we just stay with, stay with doing work like this as long as we can. For the man with ink in his blood, how much longer will he continue? I'm counting down now. <laughs> maybe another two years, maybe. Is that right? Yeah, that's, that's long enough. Two more years. That'll put him at 87 years old. He Still going does strong. not look like he's in his 80s. Guess that's what happened when, yeah. you... That's when you... When you love what you do yeah. and you do it every day and uh, it's been a family business. And You know, many people are skilled in a trade, mm -hmm. but it takes a different set of skills to be successful as a business owner. In that trade, And yeah. he says that uh, it's his love of people you know, being out in the community, when somebody opens up a new business, he goes there and introduces himself and, you know, offers to make them business cards and all the things. He does the, he does the menus for the Bedford School lunch menus. Oh. Uh, he's done countless business cards for businesses. So He's a gem in that community strong. for sure. And what a nice man. Uh, even helped the uh, local African-American newspaper get off the ground in the 1980s and uh, they've since been uh, very successful there. So it was a pleasure meeting him and a great, great opportunity for them, for folks really in the Bedford area to go check him out. Uh, 35 years in business, great stuff.